I am officially back from the NAMM show 2024. The show this year, guys, was absolutely nuts. I had so much fun at it. I got to talk to a lot of like-minded people and a lot of brands about what they have coming out in the new year. And one of those brands that I talked to that I'm super excited to share with you guys is Balaguer Guitars, the same company that I got my custom archetype from. This is easily the best guitar that I have in my guitar armory, and I cannot recommend Balaguer Guitars enough, but I was able to pull Joe from Balaguer Guitars off to the side and just kind of chat about the new year, see what they have coming up, and I'm super excited to take you guys along for the ride, so I will bore you no more. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are at the Balaguer booth here at NAMM 2024, and basically, I'm gonna show you guys the best guitar builder ever. Ever. The, just the best guitar that I've ever gotten was from Balaguer. And I have Joe Balaguer hanging out with me today. Thank you so much, Joe, for coming. Oh, it's no problem, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what do you guys have coming up here in 2024? Sure. So we have quite a few new things I can show you. Uh, the first one is right behind us. We have the USA Production Series. So we build these in small runs of 24 to 30 guitars at a time, something okay. like that. This is our Spada model. This specific one has a nitrocellulose lacquer finish. We age it. Uh, this one's vintage white over sunburst. We use premium woods, roasted flame maple neck, and uh, fingerboard. I'll take it off just so you can see. Yeah, that's super nice. It's heavily I really aged, like that. heavily aged neck. Meant to feel just like a comfortable vintage guitar you left in your closet for 30 years. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pulled it out, uh, but it actually plays well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It sounds good. It's, it's, got not, a, it's not out of tune and exactly. all, the, all the jankiness, yeah. <laughs> so it's got a hip shot bridge, hip shot locking tuners. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's new for 2024. A lot of this stuff has already been kind of out since 2023, but I'll quickly go over it. Yeah. Uh, so this is part of our select series, South Korean made, our Ambien series. So we do this every year for the last three years, just in different colors. Uh, so these retail usually for around $14.99 USD. This is part of our standard series. Uh, this is a Silverburst Baritone Espada. Okay. So it's 27 inches, uh, loaded with our Hypernova humbuckers, which are a high output ceramic magnet. Are they high output? I have the yeah. Feral yeah. in mine, and so I like those, the Feral. Yep. Those are Alnico 5 magnets, uh, are they? around 12.5K resistance. Okay. This one's just a little hotter than that. Then we have a standard series Baritone Diablo, mm -hmm. seven string, another part of our standard series. Uh, this is brand new for 2024. This is the signature model Growler T bar, so it's a baritone okay. for uh, Tony Pizzuti. Oh, yeah, of uh, the Word Alive. Yeah, so he used to be in the Word Alive. He's oh, now in the band Sleeping with Sirens. Oh, is he in Sleeping yeah, yeah. with Sirens? Okay. Yeah. So he tours with them. Uh, this is one variant of two, so this is the metallic cool green version. I like it. Like I said, 27 inch scale, he tunes it to drop C. Uh, these are for pre-order right now, actually. We just okay. launched it at the NAMM show. You know, I, I'm usually not much of like a painted guitar guy, but yeah. I really like the shade of like, it's like a sea foam green, like a nice, Yeah, it's, it's our, just a nice shade. Yeah, it's our metallic green. And then uh, this is the other variant. It's and called that, metallic guava. Yeah, so, I can see the, the metallic in there. Yeah, yeah, so it's kind of like between a pink and an orange, almost like a peach. Yeah. Um, but the Pantone color code is literally called Guava. So we is just it? stuck with that. Um, same specs as the green one, 27 inch scale, 24 frets. Uh, and these are loaded with our fellow pickups. Come stock, Tony okay. loves those, so we just stuck with those. Yeah. But they have gold foil covers, adds a little bit more brightness to the, to the pickups. Yeah. Ebony fingerboard, roasted maple neck, locking tuners. The really ripper guitar, even though it looks like something you play surf rock yeah. on. Yeah, and that's something that we've talked about before, where it's like your stuff has that vintage look, but it has the modern twist sure. to it, you know, where it may look like something vintage and something, you know, I don't know, dad rock bands might play right, play right. or something like that. Not that that's wrong or anything, but, you know, a metal guy like me, a more modern metal, more chuggier, riff sure. stuff, we can get by with it really easily. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It looks good too. Yeah, sure. Well, speaking of metal, kind of our biggest release for 2024 is our new body shape called the Seraph. Yeah. So this specific model uh, is part of our select custom series, much like your archetype. Yeah. Um, this model was really just born from 
our offset T style, but a lot of people want a bit more modern approach. Mm -hmm. So it has a carved top horn. I was gonna say that horn definitely has that modern feel yeah. to it. Yeah, it has a, very, a slightly smaller body, not as big as an offset uh, angle to it. This one has a really thick quilted maple top. You can see it on the edge there. Oh yeah. Taped it off and did natural binding. Has a McCastro any fingerboard, reverse extreme headstock, all stealthy, you know, sat black on the back. Yeah. Uh, so this is one of three serifs we have in the booth and I can hop over and show you the other two. Okay. I love the uh, the ebony fingerboard where it shows some of that grain in there. Sure. It has the lighter pieces and some of that dark. It adds character. Yeah, yep. I agree. Yeah. So this is another version of that serif model we just looked at. Yes, but this uh, is a metallic finish as well. Yep, we really like metallic finishes as you can see. Yeah, hey, they're cool, uh, man. So this is a metallic Lake Placid Blue. Hypernova humbuckers, but seven string versions. This is a seven string guitar. Evertune Bridge. Uh, three-way switch, or I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five-way switch on this one. There's a three-way yeah, switch on another one. Roasted bird's eye maple fingerboard. That's cool. That yeah. fingerboard, that is killer. You can see all the knots and stuff in it. Yeah, that's the bird's eye figuring. And uh, this has Luma Inlay face dots as well as, well as Luma Inlay side dots. Okay, so those will be glowing too. And then a uh, roasted flame maple neck. Yeah. And this is actually a brand new variant of our newest standard series that's coming out this year. So this version, as well as its smaller counterpart. Okay. Which is a six string. Yeah. A lot of the same specs, but this is a metallic olive drab green. I, I'm a sucker for green. Same, it's my I, favorite color. Yeah, green, and, and plus this this roasted fingerboard. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool with it. Yeah, roasted maple fingerboard. It's got a little bit of flame in it. Yeah. The neck is also a roasted flame maple. Yeah. Locking tuners, Everton Bridge, Hyper, Hyper Nova Humbuckers again. And uh, yeah, Lumen Lay side dots as well as Lumen Lay face dots. And this thing, I believe, is tuned to drop C, so it's ready for metal for sure. Yeah. Um, it's like that that moment when you first discovered drop D. Yeah. It's all downhill from there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just go lower and lower. That's what it is, yeah. And then uh, finally, this is the last one I, I show you over here. Um, just another version of our Select Custom series. Yeah. So this is our Diablo shape. Oh, it's so beautiful. Complete carved top. This is uh, called Metallic Rose Gold. Yeah. Bare Knuckle Aftermaths. That's another cool thing about our online builder, which I'm sure you've experienced. We offer a lot of different types of pickups. So not just ours. We work with EMG, Seymour Duncan, Bare Knuckle, Porter, yeah. Lambertones, the list goes on and on. The back of this guitar is mahogany but we did our night sky finish which yeah. is a white grain filler to fill the the grain of the mahogany and then we do a trans black finish over it from kind of look like the night sky yeah kind of reminds me of like star wars when you go like hyperspeed yeah you know? exactly <laughs> that's actually a good idea for the name yeah yeah um so yeah pale moon ebony fingerboard that's beautiful and it actually has a pale moon ebony neck as well which is pretty rare that is so cool and then uh, locking tuners again, stainless steel frets, lumen lay side dots, black face dots, hip shop bridge, five way switch, lime tone. And uh, yeah, this one's just really specced out to really just show off a lot of the more unique options we have in the builder. Yeah. As well yeah. as off the builder too, because sometimes if you're looking for something super specific, and it's not in the builder, we always say just shoot us an email because it might be something we have in stock uh, or it might be something we're willing to do just to test a new spec out or something like yeah. that. So like we were talking about before, the USA production series, yeah. this is another Espada from that. Not aged though, pristine polyurethane finish. Yeah. We call this Ocean Sparkle. It definitely sparkles. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if the camera is doing it justice, but this is like, you just got done at the nail shop sparkle. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's definitely not for everyone, but there's always people that are like, I want a really heavy sparkle finish, and yeah. this is what they'll get. But uh, yeah, volume tone, three-way switch, our feral humbuckers again. They're Roasted, awesome. Yeah, thank you. Roasted flame maple neck and fingerboard, stainless steel frets, locking tuners, graph tech nut. Those three things are usually standard on all of our guitars. Stainless steel frets, locking tuners, and a graph tech nut. Yeah. Just yeah. for tuning stability, you know, uh, you're getting a lot of uh, play time on stainless steel frets. Yeah. 
We just want to make sure that our guitars are needed to be modded immediately when you get them. Yeah. We want to be able to have all those premium features just already in the guitar. Definitely. And I mean, you guys know guitarists. We want to play the guitar. Right. We want to play for hours on end, you know, every day. And your, your guitars can hold up on that. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of great. Kind of why we want to do it that way, just because we're all guitar players as well. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so selfishly, we'll, you know, spec all of our guitars out that way yeah um and then this, i see nothing wrong with it <laughs> yeah yeah so this is part of our heritage series these are the guitars that i either build by myself one at a time like this build yeah or the other luthier at valaguer justin knight he'll build one start to finish as well we're kind of like doing our own thing separately but like our personalities come out in each guitar that way <laughs> all in the same shop in pennsylvania so this ticket i made Olive drab finish, because I love green. Oh, I was going to say it's green, so yeah, there's yeah. part of it. Uh, Seymour Duncan custom shop pickups. So okay. it's a JB and a 59, but I had them do an Alnico 8 magnet instead of an Alnico 5. Nice. Yeah. So it's more aggressive. The tonal spectrum of the pickups wider. So if you're playing down tune stuff, it really like helps the harmonic content be stable and not sound muddy or anything like that. Yeah. And then the 59 has an El Nico 2 instead of El Nico 5. And that even gives it a more timid response. So when you're splitting the pickups, it has like a really squishy, cool, reactive sound to it. Yeah. Um, and kind of the like special feature of this guitar, I guess, is uh, the Seymour Duncan Hyper Switch. So it's a five-way switch, but it has all analog relaying inside that sends the signal to a Bluetooth receiver um, in, the, in the switch itself which communicates via Bluetooth with their Seymour Duncan app on your phone. Yeah. And uh, it's not digital, it's not emulating pickup configurations or anything, it's all analog. And on the app, you can actually change the configuration of your pickups per position. You can get noiseless options, you can get positions where the tone knobs out of the circuit. It's really like a high-tech, cool, you know, new age version of a five-way switch. Yeah. In a guitar that doesn't look like it would have something like that. That was the whole, theme for me is like 70s muscle car but with a really upgraded engine inside yeah. type of vibe you just put turbo in it exactly yeah that is amazing <laughs> with so, the bluetooth uh, and everything yeah that is so freaking cool yeah um the neck of the fingerboard or roasted flame maple i age the, the neck slightly just so it feels more worn in uh i use Odie's oil on the neck which gives it a really smooth you know played in feel oh yeah definitely uh, Definitely. But it does have stainless steel frets, loom inlay side dots, uh, and I got this cool, you know, faux tortoise shell uh, from Italy that's kind of hard to get, uh, but at least, you know, it's not real tortoise shell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Killing any tortoises for a pig guard kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're saving the turtles. Yeah. So, uh, Graf Tech Nut, hip shot locking tuners. Um, and yeah, age to hell. <laughs> that, that is so cool. And, and actually, I really like the tortoise shell look with the olive green. I think it just really complements that really well. I appreciate that. Yeah. That was my choice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> we were all talking in the shop of what pick card to put on it. And I was like, I really think I need some weird 70s vibe yeah. tortoise shell. It totally so, has it. Yeah, I yeah. dig it. But, uh, but yeah, that's really all we got here. We have one more heritage build. And this is uh, a build that Justin did. Super killer a spot up. Yeah. This is uh, not as aged as the thicket. Has linear checking here. Um, bare knuckle pickups. So okay. this is a Stormy Monday and a flat 52. Okay, so that, that one's bare knuckle too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So way more of a classic sound. Yeah. Um, but still awesome. This has a push push for oh, the nice. hubbucker to split. Yeah. It's kind of a, you know, low effort if you're playing, you know, you just... A lot easier than having to pull it out. Exactly. Uh, roasted flame maple neck and fingerboard. I'm sure you're seeing a theme here. <laughs> yeah, I see what you guys like. Yeah. <laughs> Stainless steel frets, room inlay side dots, uh, golf tech nut, but the white one. Yeah. Locking hip shot tears, hip shot bridge. And yeah, 25 and a half inch scale, just like the And most of the guitars I've shown you, unless I said baritone. That's awesome. So with I know with the roasted 
uh, nets and everything, those tend to do a little bit better with weather conditions and, and yeah. different climate changes, don't they? Yeah, so roasted maple in general, um, some people call it torrified maple, baked maple, there's a lot of different terms for okay. it. But what it does is it takes the wood when you roast it, it pulls out a lot of the moisture content. Yeah. So instead of your neck having maybe five to 7% moisture, it brings it down to like two to three, which just makes it incredibly stable when you're touring or even just in a part of your country that, you know, has crazy fluctuations of humidity or cold, you know, temperatures. Yep. Um, obviously you still gotta take care of, you know, your guitars and humidify them if you can. Yeah. Oil you the know, fretboards. Exactly. Yeah, but, definitely. Uh, I, I'm up in Colorado, so yeah, it's so, dry as hell up there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so humidifiers are good. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, roasted woods are great. We've been using them since like 2016, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, just because it's not only does it look pretty, because it's a slightly darker hue than normal maple. Yeah. Uh, but there's just so many advantages for touring bands. Uh, like I said, people in crazy climates, or just in general, like it has a different feel to it uh, than normal maple. Yeah. It still has that snappiness, but it's a little warmer, to my ears at least. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we love it, use it a lot. That is so cool. Joe, thank you so much for talking with me today. Of course. Letting my viewers know what you guys have been up to. Yeah. Uh, like I said before, I cannot recommend Balaguer guitars enough for a custom builder. Yeah. My custom archetype that I got from you guys is awesome. my favorite guitar. That's my go-to workhorse, and yeah. it just really holds up really, awesome. really well. But thank you so much, Joe. I really appreciate it. Yeah, make sure to subscribe to his channel. I want to put out a huge thank you to Joe and the rest of Balaguer Guitars for taking the time out of the very, very busy NAM 2024 schedule just to kind of chat with us about some of the awesome stuff that they have coming up in the new year. If you guys are looking for some very, very quality guitars, I would definitely recommend Balaguer Guitars. They are awesome, good people, and good guitars as well. If you guys are enjoying my videos in any way, shape, or form, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting the like button as well. Just to let YouTube know that my video doesn't suck. And with that being said, my name is Chris with High Impact Audio, and I will see you guys next time.